to be featuring Linnea Bruce on the show today. Not only a country singer, but a songwriter and an actress as well. She's been seen around Vancouver Island quite a bit in the summertime at Parksville. The Big Twang Theory said she's amazing, a star in the making. What wonderful praise. Yes, I was very excited about that. I bet. And then recently you were at the Couch and Exhibition. You're all over the place. You love performing. Why? Oh my goodness, I love performing. Um, I can always just be myself on stage and it's so much fun and I just love seeing everybody and I just love playing music. Country music is so much about heartbreak though, Linnea. So why did you shift over? Because you, you've only been playing country since you are about 12, right? And before that, playing other kinds of music. Well, I was playing mostly musical theater and I was very involved with theater. And then when I was 12, I just realized how much I love country music and I just love the message it quite often sends and how there's not a lot of pressure in the country industry to conform to what the world wants to see and you can really just be yourself and be true to the artist you want to be. So do you have idols? Um, a lot of idols. Um, I've always looked up to Taylor Swift and like people can say whatever they want about her but I just love her and I think she's a wonderful role model. Well, that's terrific. And, and you want to put out more encouraging messages through your music. I heard that from your mom. <laughs> yes, I'd love to be able to write songs that really inspire people and encourage people. And I, I just love writing music and I'm trying to stick to my morals and what I, the messages I want to send. That's terrific. You're going to be sharing your talent with uh, lots of other people to help the United Way and the College and Neighborhood House. Why is that important to you? I'm very excited to be a part of this. I think the Neighborhood House is a wonderful organization. I think every community should have a center where everybody can go and feel accepted and have fun and learn lots of things. And it's just a wonderful place where people can really connect. Good for you. Well, we have more music coming up. We're going to take a quick break and then more from Linnea and a little about her acting career as well.
was any other boy I've been waiting for a long time now For him to finally notice, for him to finally want me Other boy, don't try to cover up this mess. Don't try to cover up this mess. Don't try to cover up this mess. What's done is done. I'll just move on. What's done is done. I'll just move on. What's done is done. I'll just move on. But you chose the one I wanted. chose any other boy any other boy any other boy that was Linnea Bruce singing any other boy country genre and it sounds like real live experience is it some of it <laughs> <laughs> fun to write definitely where do you write I probably write mostly in my bedroom. Good. That's a good place to be, isn't it? I mean, you're in your head. You've got your thoughts. No distractions. Do you get inspiration from all your friends at school and other activities? Yeah, I get inspiration from everywhere. Like, sometimes my friends will be going through something, and I'll write something. Sometimes it's about me. Sometimes it's about a movie I just watched. Anything, really. Now, you are going to be working on something pretty exciting for uh, Project Real Life, which will put you in the recording studio for the first time. Tell us the details on that, Linnea. I'm very excited. I was given the opportunity to make a music video with Project Real Life, so I'll be recording my first single in the studio very soon, and then we'll be making a music video for it. And I'm super excited because I'm hoping to get some of my peers and my friends involved in the video as well. That is fabulous, and I understand you're going to be recording actually at the Kwamachin campus? I am! I'm very excited! This, this, we're right here in this room right now. Um, it's such a great little space in here, and they've been given money to make it all beautiful and pretty and get all this cool stuff in here, so I'm very excited to be able to use it. Now, I heard that you were on a commercial recently. I may have been on a commercial, yes! <laughs> is it a secret? Um, well, I'm not supposed to say much, but yes, you did see me in the commercial for the Next Star Super Group, and that airs this spring, and I'm trying not to burst with excitement right now, but for now, my lips are sealed, so. Okay, well, well you know what? That's exciting, because it's something we can all watch for more news on that one. Uh, let's talk about how is life balancing? You have volleyball, softball, you love musical theater, you're always, it appears, singing and writing, and you're 16 years old. How do you balance all of those activities? Well, my family is super supportive, and I'm very thankful for them, and they zip me around everywhere, and <laughs> it's, it's just fun. It's important to stay connected with friends at school and stuff as well, and stay active, and just do anything any kid would want to do. <laughs> so that's a busy calendar, though. Do you get up super early and go to bed super late? I try not to, but that's usually what happens. <laughs> Let's talk about rehearsals that are coming up, too. I just want to end on the fact that you are a busy actress. You still love musical theater, but coming up, you're going to be performing in Little Women. When is it opening? Where will you be performing? Um, we're performing right here at the Kwamachin campus in the theater here, and that'll be towards the end of November. Exciting. And I understand you're playing Amy. I am. I'm very excited. 
What are the best things about her character? Oh, she's so fun. She says these hilarious words. I don't even think she knows what they mean, and she always says them wrong, but... <laughs> Well, that's a nice, really fun departure for you from your country music, but we wish you all the best, of course, with your music and your acting and keeping all those activities going. Thanks for being with us, Linnea. Thank you so much for having me. And next time you can see Linnea, we'll be at the concert October 19th. Here come the details. Well, that's our show, and we wouldn't have a show without you. A lot of the ideas come from people in the Cowichan Valley, so please do let us know if you know a story idea. You can email us or get a hold of us on Facebook. You can tweet us as well. The Cowichan Valley edition of Go Magazine is seen every Tuesday and Thursday evening and Wednesday and Friday in the daytime. See you next time.